Today I'm doing the review on the CAA Ronnie Conversion Kit for the 226 type pistols. To install the kit on your pistol, open the forearm grip to the vertical position by pushing the release button. Then pull the front safety pin out and slide the fore receiver to the fully extended position. With the buttstock fully extended, pull the rear safety pin out and slide the rear receiver lock to the fully extended position. Next, place the charging handle on the slide of your pistol. It should fit over the rear sights. With the Ronnie laying down, open the hinged body. Place the pistol in its appropriate position, making sure the under barrel rail slots are lined up with that of the pistols. Now with my WEF226 pistol, as with other model pistols, you might have to cut the ribs off of the Ronnie to fit the rear end of the pistol into its appropriate slot. Lastly, relock all of the receivers back into place and you are ready to fire. The CAA conversion kit has a 5 position retractable stock that can be extended by pressing the button on the rear side of the stock. A spare magazine can be installed on the spare magazine holder on the butt of the stock for quick magazine reload. Simply press the release clip to take the mag out. Now depending on what is comfortable for you, the cheek rest is adjustable by loosening the lock button and sliding the rest to its appropriate position. Now most of the kit is made of nylon fiber and feels pretty hefty. It is also integrated with an aluminum flash hider, top rail, two side rails, and a buffer tube. The top rail has 9 inches of mountable rail and includes ambidextrous push button flip up rear and front sights. They are adjustable for windage or elevation and can be viewed using either a small or large field of view rear sight. On the right side of the receiver body you have an ejection port cutout and as you fire your pistol you will see that the charging handle moves to the rear of the kit imitating a carbine. Now for my WEF226 there is no safety installed. However with the Ronnie you do have safety catches on both sides of the kit. Lastly, on the fore receiver there is a forearm grip which can be installed or removed by pressing the tan button. The position of the forearm grip can also be changed by pressing the metal button. That was my review of the CAA Ronnie Pistol to Carbine Conversion Kit. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.